um, tape. Tape. The old voice was deep. I would sing baritone in the bands. I wouldn't now. Christine Holt. Christine Holt is a 63-year-old transgender woman. Started her journey at the age of 35 and uh, made a good life of it so far. When I was like two years or so into transition. I was, I was visiting my, my parents. And we were sitting there in the living room and talking. And my mom turned to me and said, you know, Chris, you ought to take a, and, and do something with your voice. Make it softer. Make it a little higher. And I heard what she said, but I didn't feel it. But uh, as, as the years rolled by and I would sometimes get misgendered, um, I started to feel it. I want you to answer these questions with your forward focus in mind. Do boys hate loud cars? No, boys like loud cars. Do boys like quiet cars? I'm, I'm coming up on no, uh, boys like 18 loud weeks cars. of it. An me. And I'm still in the, in the, the, the practicing <laughs> stage. And I've got uh, some issues with with some graveliness with my throat, but I try to minimize all that. And Christine gives me tips and pointers, and I got to figure out how to get a good stream of conscience when I'm when I'm speaking. I can read off a paper perfectly, but to take it out of my head and put it through the mouth, it's a different thing. Christine is my client. She has been working on her resonant voice. Okay. So right now, we've been walking around doing blended articulation, but today we're working on resonant voice. We got Jack, the other attorney. And we went in and we bought it. I'm amazed that, that they have this program here, and it's free. All you need is an hour of your time a week. It's, it's, it's well worth it, and I, and I know it has benefited me out in the real world. And I'm glad that I did come here for this because, uh, you know, I'm going to keep up at it. All right, Shalom. I want to start saying all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. I'll say double honors to our apostle, Israel Great Millstone. Shalom, walk aside, Laha Bakyard. Excuse me. Got a little bit of a cold, but, um,. You know, like I said, double honors to the Prophet Elizabeth Great Millstone. Um, yeah, you know, and a citation to you, Akim, out there throughout the four corners, teaching word, truth, and sincerity. Um, you know, as you can see, man, uh, you know, just more wickedness, you know, um, from, you know, the workings of, you know, uh, Esau, Edom, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, he, he, for, he forwards this, he pushes this, um, you know, this lifestyle, this way of being. And, uh, you know, he, he, you know, he doesn't, you know, you, there's no uh, repercussions behind it. You know what I'm saying? You can, you know, basically do whatever the hell you want here in Babylon. But um, this is uh, Job chapter 15, verse 34. It says, For the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate. It says, And, sh and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. It says, they, they conceive mischief and bring forth vanity, and their belly prepare deceit, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they, it says they conceive mischief and bring forth vanity and their belly prepared deceit, man. And as you can see, man, you know, what's taking place right now, man, this man is taking a um, a speech course. It's called Temple Speech to um, to make yourself sound more um, like, a, like a woman, even though he's a man. And he went through uh, a surgery, uh, something called gender affirmation. And... Um, Basically, what that is is the they call it gender, or also known as gender reconstruction. It's just basically um, 
you know, adding, you know, taking it, hormone, uh, hormone pills or hormone or, or pu- uh, hormone blockers or whatever, and uh, you know, all type of uh, other witchcraft um, that they do. You know, what I mean, it's, as far as like chopping off certain body parts um, of the male or female uh, um, anatomy and in, in making yourself appear as a uh, you know that sex that you're aiming for you know what I'm saying if you're a male you're aiming to look like a woman they can you know use uh you know the technology they have in certain uh potions that they use and vice versa but uh yeah you know what I mean this man is preparing deceit you know what I'm saying you know he, he go to these you know he's gonna get hired somewhere at a, at a school uh, more than likely a um elementary school because high school too is you know probably more than likely not gonna put up with this um and then the indoctrination process is a lot more uh, keen, if you will, um, than when the students are young and when children, you know, are in more impressionable. Uh, they're li- like that's less likely t- uh, to, you know, rebel. But uh, nonetheless, man, like I said, this is just, I guess, like I said, man, it's just more wickedness that we uh, see on a day-to-day basis, man. And uh, this man, you know, starting with the Edomite male, you know, I mean, his woman as well. They, um, you know, they, you know, they don't, they don't give two shits about the Heavenly Father nor Son. They don't care about implementing righteousness. They don't care about following the ways, the law, statutes, commandments of the scriptures. They have their own agenda, you know what I'm saying, which is forwarding the agenda of Satan. Um, let me see, uh, this is, uh, Psalms chapter 10 and 4. It says the wicked through the pride of his continence will not seek after Yahweh. It says Yahweh is not at all. It's like Yahweh is not in all his thoughts, man. And so the, you know how you know how you know us Israelites, man. The way we process things, the way we think, um, you know, our vibration, even you know, it wicked two thirds to a certain degree, um, you know. Um, but especially the, you know the brothers that, that you know that. You know, the true believers, you know what I'm saying, the brothers and sisters that follow, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua with truth and sincerity. Um, our ways, our, our our mindset, our thoughts is geared towards Yahweh Bashim Yahshua and 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 um you know attempting to follow or righteousness to the best of our abilities in this wicked society. But uh you know the, these heathens starting with Esau Edom because they're the chief heathens, their continents, you know what I'm saying, their minds, their thoughts, it is is nowhere near um Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. They're not seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. They're not even thinking about him. You know? If anything, they're they're shunning him. You know what I'm saying? They're they're doing things to uh, go against uh, you know, you know, uh Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and his will. You know, they're striving against him, man, basically. You know, and it just so happened you got the two thirds of our people, they're in that same spirit, man. Because he saw Edom, he has a, a grip over humanity as of right now. But in the near future, Yahweh Shah will um you know he he will um you know he will rid the world of um you know of wickedness man he will purge out wickedness man you know that's why in the kingdom of heaven man once these Edomites serve a thousand years of hardcore slavery they will be ultimately done away with there will be no need for Edomite man you know what I'm saying Edomites in general you know because what they propagate and what they push out is nothing but like I said it's nothing but evil perverseness man verse five his ways are always grievous thy judgments are far above out of his sight you know like i said they're not even thinking about the heavenly father man you know what i'm saying there's a lot of things that's written in these scriptures that can be beneficial to humanity as a whole but they they like the scriptures say they cast them um behind them i believe it's in this this same chapter was in the uh the 50th chapter of psalms it says uh, as for all his enemies he puffed at them um jump down Let's see uh it says his mouth is his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud under his tongue is is mischief and vanity and you know literally man literally man this man everything he does is uh, in, in an attempt to uh deceive or mislead uh, uh people man especially you tribes man you know it says uh his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud man and like I say even with this video you can you can literally say literally you know what I'm saying? He's deceiving people uh, um, by by taking these classes, man. You know what I mean? To uh, persuade the minds of uh, individuals to, to make him believe that he is a woman when he's actually a man. You know? 
It says, uh, he set up in the lurking places of the villages and the secret places do he murdered the innocent. His eyes are probably set against the poor, man. You know? Uh, uh, man, let me see, uh, jump down. <clears throat> I might be, uh, get to another, uh, chapter real quick, man. <sighs> man, bro, it's just, like I said, this, this, this society, man. It's just vexing on all levels, man. Um... It's the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 12, verse uh, verse 5. It says, the thoughts of the, of the righteous are right. It says, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit, man. You know what I'm saying? So the, it said, the thoughts of the righteous are right. Like I said, going back to the thought I said, going back to the uh, statement I made earlier, our, our minds, our spirits are geared towards Yahweh Bashim Shah, even in this wicked estate, even in these uh, decrepit bodies, man. We still have some type of reference towards Yahweh Bashim Shah in his way. It says, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit, man. Everything about this man is, is, is his lifestyle, the way he lives, the way he interacts with people, the way he interacts with the environment, with animals, with life in general, is, 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 is straight wicked, man. You know? Everything he creates, even, um, you know, like you go to the store, man, it's synthetic this, artificial this, you know what I'm saying? That's deceit. You're deceiving, you're manipulating uh, people, man. You know, when you go to a, a fucking store, man, orange juice is supposed to be orange juice. It's not say it's not supposed to say artificial, you know what I'm saying? It, it's supposed to be straight up what it is and then you turn to the back of the damn ingredients they got all type of things is on the you know the, the on the label you know all type of chemicals that's, that's in there man you look you know, in a kingdom orange juice would just it would just be orange juice it's that simple um let me get this real quick man I mean, before I sort of type it in Bear with me one second, Aki. This is uh, Job chapter 21 and 34. It says, How then comfort ye me in vain, seeing your answers there remaining falsehood, man? See, Esau, Edom, man, he's trying, to, he's trying to comfort people, um, you know, with these, you know, these press interviews and, you know what I'm saying, these talks, these speeches that he, you know, have with these politicians and stuff like that. On the uh, on the, uh, on the, on the TV, you know what I'm saying? He's trying to comfort people in vain, but everything that this man speaks about is it, it remains in falsehood, man. Because when people go to check out, you know, a lot of these things that they're speaking about, they find out it's the complete opposite, man. You know, it's uh, Psalm 7:14. Behold, he travailed with iniquity, and I conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood, man. That's this man's mo. When you look at that word falsehood, it's gonna say deceit. You know what I'm saying? So he, he brings forward uh, for, uh, deceit, fraud, lies when you go into the word, man. Everything about this man, man, is, is like I said, it's is not real. It's not, it's, it's, it's not reality, man. You know what I'm saying? And most of these people that we see on TV are actors and actresses, man. They get paid, uh, um, you know, bribes and stuff like that to uh, for the agenda of these Edomites, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that shit is made up, man. This is a uh, second Ezra chapter uh, six verse uh, twenty seven. Second Ezra chapter six and twenty seven. It says, uh, "For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched." Man, you know what I'm saying? So we're waiting for that day when this will take place, man. When evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. It says, "As for faith, it shall flourish; corruption shall be overcome." And the truth which I've been so long without fruit shall be declared. And that's taking place right now as we speak, man. Corruption is being overcome. You know what I'm saying? And the truth that has been so long without fruit shall be declared. That's why truth is springing up um, throughout the four corners, man. People are tired of this man and his system and the way he's, um, you know, running the world, man. You know what I'm saying? But real soon, man, Yahweh Bashim Yashah will take this devil down. And we are praying and hoping that it's, it's, it's you know, soon, man. You know what I mean? Lord willing, the next couple months, man. You know what I'm saying? However long, you know, whatever the will of the Lord is, man. But I pray that the Lord take this man down soon. That I'm saying, Shalom.